All right, so here's another example. We're going to go sort of the opposite way of the previous one. In the previous one, we were given the focus in the directrix, and we wanted to come up with the equation. This time we've got the equation. We want to find the focus and the directrix. Okay, so our parabola this time is oriented horizontally rather than vertically. Um, so what we need to do if we want to get this information is we need to get it into standard form. Okay, so we have to say, okay, x is equal to factor out the 1 over 8. 1 over 8, y squared minus 8y plus 8. Okay? Yeah, why not? I mean, we could leave the plus 1 out. 1 over 8 times. So complete the square. Okay? So we have minus 8y. Now, half of that is 16, right? So we like to have 16. 8 is 16 minus 8. Having done that, right, so we, the 16 comes from doing half of 8 and squaring. We have 1 over 8, y minus 4, all squared, okay, minus 1, okay. So 1 over 8 times all of that gives me the first term, okay. 1 over 8 times minus 8 gives me the minus 1, okay. So that means looking at this, I know that the vertex, when y is equal to 4, x is equal to minus 1. So the vertex is at minus 1, 4. Okay, so we've got that. Now, the next thing we, we want, right, so remember that the general form looks something like this, right? The general form is going to look something like 1 over 4p y minus k squared plus h, right? So we've identified k is equal to 4, h is minus 1. Ah, we can also identify p, right? 1 over 4p is equal to 8. So we know that p, p has to be equal to 2, right? So x is 1 over 4 times 2 times y minus 4, all squared, subtract 1. There we go. So we've got p. Well, once we have p, right, we can use that now to figure out we've got the vertex. We've got the vertex. The vertex is at minus 1, 4. We know that our our parabola is opening to the right, given the form here, right? So we start at x equals minus 1. If we go two units to the right, we'll get to the focus. So the focus must be at... Focus, I forgot the C. Is going to be at minus 1 plus 2. 4, so that's the point 1, 4. The directrix, well, we go two units the other way. We get over to here. Um, this is wrong. Y equals P. That's been sitting there the whole time, right? X. X is equal to minus P. Y if we're doing this way. Yeah. Ha. I'm not going to reshoot those videos that take too long. We'll live with the mistake. Okay x is equal to minus p. Okay, but x equals minus p if the, ver if the uh, vertex is at the origin. It's not, right? The vertex is at minus 1. So we go minus 1, we move two mo units more to the left, minus 1, minus 2, we get x is equal to minus 3. Okay, so there's the focus, there's the directrix. Now, this problem gave us one more task. Check that this point works. Does that actually work? Okay, let's find out. 7, 12, is it on the parabola? Um, 1 over 8 times 12 squared minus 12 plus 1. Okay, so that's 1 over 8 times 1, 44 minus 12 plus 1. 144 divided by 8, we have it three times. Half it once, we get 72, 36, 18. 18 minus 12 
It's easier than doing long division. Plus one. Seven. Yeah. Okay. So that is indeed a point on the parabola. Is it equidistant between the uh, focus and the directrix? Let's see. Um, distance to the focus is going to be square root of, so 7 minus 1 squared, and then it's going to be 12 minus 4 squared, okay? So that is 6 squared plus 8 squared, 36 plus 64. Squared of 100 is 10. Distance to the directrix. That's the easier one, right? It's just the difference between the x-coordinates. 7 subtract minus 3, 7 plus 3, we get 10. So it works, right? As expected, the distance between any point and the focus is equal to the distance between that same point and the directrix. Well, at least for this point. Feel free to check a few others.